Hello everyone and welcome to Sword of My Update, Issue 1, The Last Ragnarok. My name is Vin the Human, Vincent Herman, sitting to my whatever it is for you, but my left, Bob Collins, also known as Boba Fett, and over here, Alpha Spectre, James Odell. So, also, tonight, also known as Taco Spectre. Oh yes, Taco Spectre. Mr. I gotta get what There's time for one. There's time for another time. We've got a mess of fucking fast food and shit here. Just Dude. fucking beer and everything. So, uh, we're, we're set in prime to record uh, Commoner's Commentary. You can yes. check that out. Super Mario Brothers Monday. edition. Yes. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> thank, thank you. Uh, anyways, guys, the reason we're making this video is hot on the heels of our last sort of my podcast came like the next day. It was Thor Ragnarok trailer, and, and uh, right after that yeah, was right the after last that Jedi. was Last Jedi, and we did not want to wait until episode fourteen uh, to ish, do, whatever it is, uh, to do those. Uh, plus, you're gonna take up a whole lot of time from that episode, so why not do it here now, live, and we're all quickie, so to speak. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's start with Thor Ragnarok, and then we'll move on to The Last Jedi. Yeah, like, well, I mean, granted, Thor Ragnarok was was a mix between, like, uh, two movies. It was Guardians Ragnarok. of the Galaxy, No Rock. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, but, yeah, definitely, as soon as those ships come in, like, the whole trailer I mean, just the soundtrack, in. like I said, the... Well, they even said when they were making this movie, they wanted to have more of, like, an 80s sci-fi film yeah. vibe to it. Well, but in doing that, it does. It's going to feel like how Guardians of the Galaxy did because it took a lot from that era. Well, they're but, also trying to blend all that together at this point with, uh, with Doctor Strange happening. Mm -hmm. They're going into Infinity War. Infinity War. Um, and it's been stated at least several times just these past couple weeks that like Guardians of the Galaxy is not budging one way or the other an inch. They're going to be in Infinity War. But uh, Mr. Fucking on his phone over here. <laughs> hey, be sharing the video, one. asshole. This this really isn't going to affect them one way or another. The third movie is like going to cap the trilogy, and if they do any after that, it's going to be a different team. They've said. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so it seems like everything's really conforming to it, which is a weird, like odd change of pace. But yeah. But honestly. I don't I don't I don't care if they did just look at the Guardian stuff and and uh I mean it's it's been one of their it's it's really been one of their most successful things. Right so guys? It has. It's wow. I mean when, when you really get down to it but it, it, it's been spit. their underdog. And with the I mean you can't I think deny with the atrocity that it of Dark yeah. World, they're wanting to really try to like get what they know and like get what they know people have enjoyed and kind of push that into another movie. But like when you start getting into the trailer, like the first thing we see is him being thrown down on the chains, which all I can assume is he's in hell at that point. We see Hella, who looks spot on. Oh yes. So good. Awesome. Then we see Rita Repulsa. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, like, there's a lot of really good imagery in the trailer already. We've got, what was it, Loki with the full horned helmet Dude, again. Just that little move where he spins, he tosses those guys yeah. up in the air. It's cool, but I got, like, for a while there, maybe maybe it's been long enough now, because I'm, like, I'm not like, oh, Loki, but, like, for a while there, I got tired of Loki. He, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. I get, like, I get why he was there, and it worked, and I... I can't really say. I hate yeah, it. I mean, he, he definitely he definitely just... worked as like the, the big bad for yeah. Avengers, and you kind of expect him to be in the Thor movies. Yeah, yeah. of course. But you it know, felt a little oversaturated with Loki. But was. this feels like guess who's back? I'm like, oh, I just want Beta Ray. Come on, where did you ever really leave? At some point, they they've got to give us Beta Ray. <sighs> yes. Yes. They, well, yes. okay. See, here's the thing <laughs> with with what what we see in the trailer, like Big beta ray she breaks this hammer, and, and like wild. part of me sees that as like the whole like he's no longer worthy story that happened. They're not. They're not. They're not. I, I, yeah, I know, no. but like there's been a lot of play with him and Beta Ray Bill in the comics, but I don't think we're ever going to get yeah. a giant horseman. Well, have they have they said that they even know what's next? Who the fuck did Trailers on Silent? Huh? Um, I no, they haven't. Showrunner Herman. 
They haven't said oh, anything yeah. about like I'm the next phase after happen. Infinity War. Flashing, <laughs> you're taking pictures of the floor. <laughs> Jesus, what the fuck? Hey, if you if you can do that, the noodles lot eating tacos. God damn, I'm an ass. Yeah, you know what? Fine, fine, have a taco for that one. <laughs> but but, uh, but no, yeah, like, no, it's they haven't really said. That, do they have like, any idea? Like we we know some of the movies. Like we're we're getting the Ant Man and Wasp. We're we're getting. Well, no, aren't those still before the second half of? The, oh yeah, yeah. Like the those second are, part those are of Infinity War, along with Captain Marvel and all that. So yeah. I don't think we really the have second part of Infinity War, War is War two. Um, they they didn't say that they were going to end it. I I think they fully intend on oh, continuing. It's a fucking it's, money making machine. Why wouldn't? Yeah. But here's the thing: in the comics, Captain Marvel, like. At least this is the way it looks. Uh, maybe they're just pushing it this way. But Captain Marvel has kind of become a huge deal, like a forerunner. Yeah. Like you got Iron Man, Captain America, Spider Man, and Captain Marvel. Um, now. Yeah. Now. Uh, which so, with the news of which will we can discuss this on the podcast yeah, later. Yeah. Uh, you know they're they're going back to basics soon. Yeah. But. You know, right now, yeah. Oh, you saw that? Uh, yeah. The legacy? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But right now, we do. We have Captain Marvel as one of the big figureheads so of what's going on. She might be the person who moves us into the next phase. Yeah. Either way, uh, back to Thor Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> this happens every time. Get this train back on track. Um, anyways, yeah. A um, lot of great visuals. A lot of cool. Uh, there's going to be a lot of cool characters in here. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I didn't see that coming. Uh, like, no, I, well, I, mean, I did. I, 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 I knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, but it's I knew. I mean, I'm, but, I'm always happy to see him. Like, the, the way knows. he looked. Like, I, I, I dig the look. Uh, the rain is based on chaos theory. It's going to be dribbling water down Loki's hand. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> not, not which way is it going to go? <laughs> oh, God. I, I could only hope. <laughs> Of but course. no, okay, the, the big scene of the movie, where in the oh, arena, in the trailer. like the very... No, it's going to be the whole movie, got it. I it may be the biggest scene so, of the movie. Yeah. Like, from, we, what I heard, we, no. from what I've heard, a good chunk of what we see in the trailer is from the first act of the movie. Because there's, because there's still supposed to be the whole buddy... Well, and this is road only... trip aspect of it, whenever they come and start coming oh, back. And you, it, um, oh, yeah. Someone said something... Oh, God can't remember what it was but i was watching all sorts of youtube videos one day and i was watching through marvel stuff but uh i think the daryl stuff is legit canon within the marvel uh the mcu the what stuff the daryl stuff where yeah. he's living with the, that roommate his roommate yeah oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It it's it's legit so like uh i wonder if daryl's gonna have a cameo of this that would be amazing i'm right? okay with that yeah or they um, actually show a little bit more at that time. It's definitely like going to be a funnier. It's definitely going to be geared more towards humor than any of the others have. Uh, the first one had it. The first yeah, one yeah. was was good like this. setting it up <laughs> another. <laughs> yeah, where it was the coffee cup. Down. Like the humor in the There's first little one thing. was very like he's so new to this world that he's doing things that are normal to him it's kind of like that it's kind of like the same thing with drax and guardians yeah it was mm-hmm. like he's funny yeah. because he's unaware he's unaware of what what he's doing hey, uh, how other people perceive him you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. but but no, like get getting back on track here we've known for a while that we're that hulk is gonna be a big part of the movie like for ignorant to the realize yeah anyways now getting back on track <laughs> and we got a sneak peek oh here we're saying oh fuck that but wait yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. Hit the I, I, They're worse things. Uh, but we, we got to see the Planet Hulk armor a little while back mm, in just an mm. image. Like, that's all we saw was the, just the, the helmet armor and the shoulder. So we knew it was coming, which, which I kind of wish they hadn't because... That would have been an awesome reveal. Because all of yeah. I forgot that they had done that. Uh, so, so, I, so I was already like, oh, it's a fucking Planet Hulk. Shit, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, Fun little tidbit, when um, me and my son were watching it for the first time, and as soon as the Hulk came out, before Thor said yes, I went, yes! And then fucking <laughs> Thor threw in his, and Ben started fucking cracking up. <laughs> just the, from the pacing of it. But it's just like, yeah. it, like he does that, the, the crowd just goes dead silent. He's a friend from work! Yeah, right? And then, like, they just go at it, and it ends the trailer, and... 
just the slow the slow motion of those two coming together for that first hit that you know it's is probably going to up, or, uppercut yeah. and you know that that's ah. that first hit is going to send a shockwave through the arena. Oh, it's going to be awesome! And it's going to be one of the highlights of the first part of that movie. Like I, I have no doubts about We're that. hitting the table. Yeah. Why did you just grab this beer right here? Because that's <laughs> yours. I <laughs> I put mine down there. All right. Anyways, guys. Uh, yeah, Thor Ragnarok looks like it's gonna be awesome. Uh, way way to go, little. You know what? This this is a mess. This whole fucking thing is a mess. Um, I don't know why. Uh, we're this breaking isn't even all. Why. We're breaking every podcast. So I I even think we're getting too loud or directly towards what. <laughs> Every podcast role, we're breaking it right now. We're podcast rebels. Is that oh, what you know? we're great outlaws. We're the great podcasters. Which Ooh. leads us into The Last Jedi. Ah. <laughs> um, that was the worst segue ever. No, it was not, because we're going to talk about a little. We're going to get gray here in a little, a little bit. Um, okay, so The Last Jedi trailer drops uh, during. Star Wars Celebration Weekend, great stuff. Go to the YouTube channel, Star Wars YouTube channel. You can watch panels and everything there. I watched the shit out of them and I loved them. Very entertaining. But this thing dropped and it has raised more questions. Like, forget everything you knew because you didn't know anything. And now I have a bunch more questions than that. There, there you go. That's your trailer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. more or less. When I uh, when I first got the notification for it, uh, I, I just woke up. I, I brought it up on my phone. I've heard this story four times. Now. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm doing it for the fucking <laughs> listeners. Doing it for the, the people. The listeners haven't heard it. Or the one person that's so watching. Now, so now the organic version of this is gone. The you just pulled back that fucking curtain, and now it's it's and now you're just exposed ruined. right there. Anyways, I saw I saw the notification, uh, and I said, "Not, nah, not like this," because I was tired. I wanted my coffee, so I got my coffee, I got my cereal, sat down on my laptop. I was gonna eat breakfast, watch this trailer. I said, "No, not like this." And so, eventually, about two hours after that, I sat down with my PlayStation and I said, "Wait, we can do this better." And that was the uh, live video that I posted. Wait, you deserve that. <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> um, that was the live video that I posted to the Sword of My Comics page channel and everything like that. Maybe like Sword of My Brand. We're on Twitter. We're on Sword of My Podcast. Oh, on no, everything. Everything. So, <laughs> anyways. Even, um, even Grinder, apparently. And, yeah, I, like, I... Oh, yeah. No, uh, check <laughs> us out. Grinder. we're Sword of My Little Secret. <laughs> sword of My Little <laughs> Secret. Uh, Anyways, yeah, no, I do. I almost cried. Sort of my fetish. I was so ready for this. I have seen it, and I, I mentioned this while we were watching it before we we went live. Um, I've seen it eighteen times now, and po- like pre this, and uh, still chills. As soon as it says this Christmas, like boom, they hit, and it's all good. So, guys, what what are your what are your takeaways from the trailer? What do you what do you it's like? Paint bottles. Oh yeah, well maybe. <laughs> Could be North Korea. It's, it, I was say it's North Korea or Syria. That's no, 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 no. North Korea is at war with the ocean right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. They're occupied. Atlantis is a big problem for them. Uh, Fuck it. <laughs> Arthur Curry. Forgot about Always that starting one. some shit. Uh, anyways, but what are your takeaways? I'm excited. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, no shit. Well, obviously. Well, fuck yeah, you're gonna be fucking excited. It's fucking but, Star Wars. No, like all, all, all these different theories yeah. that that have already been like thrown up. Yeah. I want to know which one's fucking true. Well, all right. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, Finn is actually Ray's mother and his Sex change. brothers Sex change to BB-8. BB-8 actually has a human soul trapped into his little metal body. Well, they, they gotta try and, and play a trans. Is actually Anakin's father. Whoa! Turns out Anakin was uh, part cyborg the yeah. whole time. Yeah, Anakin's mom and that whole Virgin Mary thing. She was a. She was taking <laughs> that big old ball. Here we go, that big old baby A. He was uh. Flicking her the lighter. Yeah, I was going to say, he was lighting her fire. Uh, That's actually how he picked her up. They were at a bar. She's like, you got a light? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> You smile. know what? Now that you've said it, there is porn of it. It's got to be. Oh, it's got to be. Yeah. Uh, roll, roll 34, guys. 
Link it up. Don't if you don't don't your kid if your kids. I guarantee they're Star Wars. I, I like I'm like ninety. Okay, I'm I'm not even gonna lie. I'm one hundred and ten percent for sure that there is Star Wars porn. Now are we looking at maybe well, eight porn? Yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. what I mean. Of course, there's Star okay. Wars. Okay, continue. All right, I'll look this up. <laughs> we got Bob going uh, on the internet on the scene. The BB8 porn. BB8 porn. Call us in with your uh, porn suggestions. Bob will look them up. <laughs> uh, actually. Side side story, me, Odal, and Mrs. Odal all one day. I was I remember I was drunk. I don't wait, know wait, you did, would she want you to tell this story? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we were talking about what we were originally talking about. I asked him, I don't ask her husband. <laughs> we were talking about uh, I think it was originally uh, Pokemon cosplay, and then I asked her if they've ever seen the Pikachu from the Pokemon porn pair. Oh god. Oh my and how creepy god. it is. And then we start talking about like Which if you think of any movies, talks, there's man. a porn parody of it. So we started look we started just naming off movies and so it just add in the word porn parody afterwards. Just about anything you can find. In I'm the telling. day of dresser drawer VHS tapes, my father had a uh, <laughs> had a movie called The 69th Sense. Yep, yep, right there it is. He's mostly he's mostly mostly into voyeurism. Yeah, he's Look at that. Yeah. yeah. He's never like actually He's using just, a lightsaber hill. <laughs> and he's just watching. <laughs> Do you understand how dangerous that is? <laughs> well, it depends. Does she have what, a does she have she, the bladed part pointed out? Either way, she, she has her palm over the end of it. Wow, well, okay. Well, she could do a kegel. Ignite, she okay, could do a kegel and fucking take herself out instantly, or at least lose a hand. She that's how you know she's a I'd rather, walker. I'd rather lose a hand. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We should have called this That's How You Know She's a Skywalker. Right there. Shit, God, that's, that up. just stunned me. Okay, uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, anyways, okay. Mo- uh, a few things. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> just stop. Just stop. Just put it away. Let's throw throw your phone, phone on the floor. I have, oh, I have to. Man. Okay, uh... <laughs> So some of the big rumors in this. Uh, well, one thing was confirmed. Uh, Ray's parents, Ray's lineage is going to be revealed in this movie. Although um, the ru- I guess Bob Bob saw this as an actual big rumor. Ray is Mace Windu's. Ray Ray's Mace <laughs> Ray <Yeah>. Windu. <laughs> now uh, the big thing is uh, Ray Kenobi, and I, honestly, like as much as they poked and prodded <laughs> at it during celebration. I don't think it's going to be a thing. Um, it'd be cool. It'd be uh, oh. interesting, but easy. You know, too easy. It would feel like the cop out. And, of course, Luke Skywalker having a kid. I don't think this Luke Skywalker goes down that path. Uh, yeah, so so I don't think that's going to be a thing either. But we are going to find out, uh, finally. Uh, the other thing is uh, Grey Jedi Luke. That's a big one that's going around. Yeah. Um, a lot of people... One one thing I saw, um, and I think it was on the Stupendous Wave channel on YouTube, uh, a lot of great Star Wars video. I watch a ton of them. He mostly talks about old expanded universe, so some are kind of outdated, but it's still interesting. Uh, anyways, he did a breakdown of the trailer. He said um, that a lot of reports are saying that maybe this, uh, this bookshelf of his is the original literature of the Jedi, maybe dating back to the Jedi like before the uh, prequel Jedi Order, yeah, and um, which would make a lot of sense. Maybe he has abandoned the Senate version Jedi Order. Odell, did you just throw all those on there? No, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my god. Anyways, uh, was, sorry. Just hearts and thumbs ups are going nuts on our screen right now. Anyways, uh, yeah, that the um, that he has abandoned. How when we only have one person that liked it? <laughs> right. The uh, we have four viewers right now. The the Jedi Council order and shit. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> it's just trying to power through. Uh, the original uh, Jedi Council teachings, the you know the Coruscant Jedi and all that. Well, the uh, island that he's on isn't it a location? Isn't the maybe the it, last? I I think I don't Jedi know if it's the first. first Jedi Temple. Or, yeah, first. Uh, uh, it could be, like, the last of the first. Just an old one. Um, and then the book that we see, the Glove Wiper Cross, is possibly Journal of the Wills. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Woo! Danny! It was him. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, possibly the Journal of the Wills, which, like, would be awesome. That's, like, heavy 
old expanded universe canon shit. And they and they are digging into that shit though. Yeah, yeah. Which, I mean, yeah, they, they, they haven't shied away from borrowing from that, with especially with the comics and stuff. Oh, I mean, and 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 there's so much rich stories in the yeah. expanded universe, yeah. and for them to wipe it all clean whenever they. Whenever Disney bought them out, it's nice to see them actually going back and taking chunks out of exactly. it. Exactly. Um, and so, making it all fit into their view of what they wanted. Like, it's... I'm happy. Yeah. So, people are saying great Jedi Luke, uh, especially given his attitude towards the Jedi, which uh, you could also argue is bitterness to Kylo Ren betraying him and all that. Maybe it's a little both. But, who knows? I mean, we'll find out during the movie. I seriously doubt, though, that it's going to be one of those things where he's like, No, bitch, I'm not trading you. Fuck off. <clears throat> um, although, it was said at the panel by Daisy Ridley herself that uh, there's a scenario in this film where... She has to carry Luke on her back like Yoda. <laughs> well, we, we've already seen the behind-the-scenes footage on that know. one. <laughs> uh, a couple snapshots there. But uh, no, it was there. said by her that uh, the old adage in this film is true. Never meet your heroes because they might not add up to what you expected. And that's what Luke is for her in this film. So I thought and she that meant like Mike Tyson or something. Well, no. Well, okay. Mike Tyson has a has a heavy part in this film. I hear he's doing. The I CG heard he was the last Jedi. I hear I hear he's doing the CG stand in for Leia in Episode Nine. So you know, we'll I see. heard he was Snoke. <laughs> Snoke. He's Snoke the last Jedi. Everyone knows <laughs> that Snoke is actually Smeagol. It's he's actually the same universe. And that's why he looks all decrepit because he's lived this like wow that's actually not a terrible I said, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit maybe Middle Earth isn't our Earth and it happened a long time ago in a galaxy far far away like the Star Trek oh shit no okay. it's Star Trek you know what it's Star Trek uh, <laughs> it's, it's a, no 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 here's here's a little thing I'm gonna put this to fucking bed right goddamn now right on this little mini random thing that we just decided to do you already wasn't know. this mentioned on an episode no I don't think so what happened to Jar Jar what's actually happened to Jar Jar oh we're at 12 ooh okay guys if you think that Jar Jar Binks is a Sith Lord first of all that was a stupid <laughs> you're fucking, stupid that was a stupid idea <laughs> fuck that uh, I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm saying you fed into something that is stupid. I'm saying you're stupid. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Fuck, so we're down to nine. Oh, it doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, no, actually, in a recent, I think it was Catalyst. Um, yeah. The the prequel <clears throat> to Rogue One. Uh, Jar Jar Binks is seen playing the clown for uh, refugee children, and he's been uh, shunned by the Gungan. And this is yeah. This is after right after episode three, right? This is uh this is before Rogue One, which is before right before after episode, episode three, one. before Rogue One. Yeah, like way after episode three though. Okay. Like yeah, he's been so, like he's been there for yeah, years. The Empire has so, been yeah. yeah. He's been uh he's been made the fool. He's most people won't even talk like from the storyteller's standpoint, nobody talks to him but the children. And stuff, and the children love him, but like nobody else will talk to him because he's the one who who. Do you, gave do, the do you order. think that was intentional? That they're like the only people that like him are the children, because the only people that like Jar Jar Binks was children. Well, and yeah. even then, it's possible like I'm talking about like just, in, in real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's possible that that was like a slight in there, but it also makes total sense because he you know, he entertains the children, but the adults remember when he gave the fucking. Emperor, yeah. his powers in episode three. So, like, they blame all this shit for him. Most of these people are rebels and stuff. So, instead of killing him, they made him the fucking fool. So, that's what Jar Jar Banks is up to. He's not a mastermind fucking Sith who's gonna come out of nowhere. It's not gonna be a big novel dedicated to him. Maybe. He put it to bed. He's done. Nah, but they didn't. They, they didn't. They didn't say that he died in that novel. He could have realized he had. No abilities. Here's here's after the thing. I see where you're coming from. Force choking a kid I, that was poking him with a stick too many times. Here, here. I see where you're coming from, and you're making some good points here. But I'm just trying to keep that. Little, count, I'm just trying to blow well, those embers from that fire and reignite it with that's fucking stupid and hell no. <laughs> Boy, that's, that's why I'm saying it. 
Guys, it's, I mean, it was never a question for me. He ne- was never force sensitive in the least. He's the clumsiest fuck on the goddamn planet. He was a goddamn cartoon character, almost literally. Uh, he was never a sip. It pissed me off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love your Jar Jar rants, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, the thing is, if everyone watching and listening or following sort of my comics on Facebook and they were listening to the podcast, we we've discussed the whole like scene from Catalyst from the from the novel. Okay, it's it's possible. Yeah, yeah. I don't. And I believe I even talked about the whole Michael Jackson trying to be in episode one as Jar Jar Binks before. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We did bring that. He up. wanted to play it live action like the. Well, we style. lost all of those people. <laughs> but, <laughs> he doesn't like Jar Jar Binks. Fuck this. Hey, that guy likes eggplants. A oh lot. shit. Oh man, yeah. just insane. Just insane is all. Oh, uh, that's clever. He's just insane. Oh my god, I'm just now getting it. He is. We used to blow shit up together. And he looks like he does. Blow he's, shit up. He's there. crazy. He's, he's, a lot he's of an eggplant enthusiast. Uh, well, I mean, what do you think we were burning? Hey, we'd like to uh, thank our unofficial sponsors: Taco Bell, White Castle, Budweiser. Budweiser, Bud Light, and Smirnoff. Apparently, they did. Um, they're unofficial because they didn't give us any money, but we sure spent. But they're some delicious. On them. They don't sponsor us. We just buy their shit. We sponsor and them we a lot during the podcast. Um, Bob and like we kind of railroaded the actual trailer portion. <laughs> did you ever want to say anything about the trailer? Uh, <laughs> the Last Jedi trailer. For those of in, you. Who forgot because of our rants? I'm completely opposite of Odell right now. I am not excited for this movie. You're not excited? For real not excited? No, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I, was like, I'm super excited. I was like, wait a minute, what? Like, as, soon as, as soon as the fucking John Williams score comes on, mm-hmm. goosebumps, fucking mm-hmm. the imagery, mm-hmm. just everything. Just fucking... Uh, they already have my money. I don't they, care. they have my money before I, I even knew that there was going to be a whole new This fucking could saga. turn out to be the quintessential Jar Jar Binks film, and I'm, I so. I'm already going to see it twice for sure. <laughs> Every, that's the only reason I've been watching. Because I've got to solidify my hatred. That's the only reason I went and watched Force Awakens and Rogue One, was I was hoping for some Jar Jar. <laughs> I'm holding out. So that's the whole reason anyone needs to hold out. That's the whole reason anyone who was 10 in 1999 is going to see these films. For Jar Jar, right? God, where the fuck have you guys been? There's a reason he got busted down to one line and third, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. I've said my piece. Uh, anyways, all right, yeah, guys. Uh, last chat. It looks cool. We're gonna go see it. You're gonna go see it. Don't lie. Um, <laughs> if you don't, then get the fuck off the last, page. Oh, uh, real quick. Um, how long do you think Finn's gonna be in my fucking his little bubble? Half the um, movie. Yeah, probably. Movie. No, it probably won't be that long. No, I, I'm, I'm thinking. And we, there's behind the scenes pictures of him like interacting with other characters. He's wearing the jacket, so he's gonna be in. The movie. So does the jacket have a giant slice on the back? And we don't know yet. But I was from what I hear, and I'm totally sure, stealing this joke. Wasn't he wearing it when he got sliced down the back? Totally back? stealing this joke. I hear the jackets made made a full recovery. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of skin grafts. Uh, I, I, I bet you he was up, wearing. Right? I bet you he was wearing the jacket while he was in that little. Thank you, Mister Sunday Movies, for that joke. Mister Sunday Movies is great. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> like Mister Sunday Movies and their uh, podcast, The Weekly Planet. Yeah. So, how many like way better shows than ours have we poured out in this show? What have you? <laughs> yeah. But hey, like if you're gonna if you're gonna waste your time listening to us. Waste your time as well. Oh, yeah. A little more. You'll, listening to... you'll never come back to us. No, especially after that. Yeah. Play, we For play sure. Play what, what are we doing? We're... Don't tell them about the other shows. There's actually no other podcast <laughs> since ever. This is the first. Welcome We're to so the original. Podcast. We're 14 into this bitch, and you know, nobody else has gone <laughs> on. They'll know one day. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, apparently me and Bob are playing footsie right now. That <laughs> just happened a little bit. But at the table. Yeah. You know, we got, we I'm got like straddling I'm like straddling the leg to this table. To fit <laughs> me in. too. Yeah. It's I, I'm all the way back here and I look like oh, I look, I mean, don't get me wrong, like next to Odo, I already look fucking tiny, but like he does. You know, I look 
tiny back there. See, Bob, now Bob's on my I'm like, Now I haven't fucking... I'm not moving. I'm not... I, I can't really move. But <laughs> I refuse to do it if I could. Oh, uh, well, uh, fuck. This whole last part is going to be so boring for people listening on sound. <laughs> we're going to wait for something really exciting at the end and... This is, this is pretty much it. Yeah, well, that's what we were just doing an update. Hey, we went over our time limit anyway. Did yeah, we? So yes. I think it's all over. Oh, all right. right. Yeah, this. guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for anyone who liked the live video, shared this video. You know, if you like this or our show on SoundCloud or iTunes, uh, check us out on Instagram, sort of my podcast, Twitter, sort of my podcast, sort of my comics on Facebook, sort of my brand on Facebook. Uh, there's also a sort of my brand YouTube channel. Almost nothing ever goes up. Uh, we are here in sort of my studios right now. Terrible background because I put all of the shit on the opposite side, and the good shit is on this side, so you can't see any of that. See, the thing is, what's behind us is actually just one of those backdrops we're in New York City right now. This is the worst we screen screen. We, we, we just want to make it feel like. Yeah, we're normal we're people. We're normal like people. Else. We're actually in our mansion. Once, uh, once sort of my studios is uh, a little more <laughs> finished, I will be, uh, I'll be doing. Edible he actually has champagne in this, in this can. That's why I'm holding it. Making it. Well, that's why it's once sort of my studios is finished, uh, we can move on to the final videos like edible obscurity. <laughs> edible obscurity. <laughs> 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 that's yes. that is. Actually, the only show I intend to bring back, and I'm going to put the podcast on there. That, that's it right now. I, I may try to find a way to download my videos from Facebook. Do you know how Facebook. long it takes me to do a four-minute review? Uh, uh, at least two four hours. Four days. No, it takes... Uh, One day a minute. At least 12 hours of editing. Like, Well, not just editing. Editing, uploading, like transfer, everything. See, I, I'm good with the live stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I right? So, shit. I'm just going to do Edible Obscurity. <laughs> it's, it's a little less editing. It's a shorter show. Yeah. Anyways, okay. Thank you guys very much for watching, for listening.